Greetings, Hawklings, Cyber Dogs, and fellow fishing enthusiasts. We are back another time with Fishing Planet. Yes, I am back here on Emerald Lake in New York, and I really love this lake, guys. I just love it. I I just love the pike fishing. I love the well, just about everything you can do here. But one of the reasons I thought I might go ahead and do this episode is well, guys, I found a really excellent spot over here that seems to be working very well for catching northern pike. And I just happened upon it as I was trying different things. But let me go ahead and make sure that I have the right bait. Yeah, I still have it set up for walleye. Yeah, the key thing to fish with, guys, for this particular area... Now you can use the casting spoons that are gold and silver, but I tell you, these, I think they call them red devils, they are the best for the northern pike. The northern pike love them. I would say this other one here, uh, the yellow and red bomb, ROMs, yeah, that's what it's called, it's probably second. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use this one. And... First, we're going to show you with the one quarter ounce, and I'm going to try the half ounce after that. But I don't know if you can see, but right where my pole is, there's a clump of reeds that sticks out. And over here, it looks like some lily pads or some underwater vegetation. The place that we're interested in is actually right there. Right in between the two of them. I have tried all around, and I swear to God, every time I try this, something hits it. And a couple of times, I have thrown it in, and just as soon as it hits the water, bam! So, we're going to give it a little bit of a shot here. Now, as you can see, it's 11.07 a.m. This is the key time for this lake, guys. Unless it's raining, this is the time you need to be fishing. And for about three, maybe four hours, you're going to get some peak fishing time here. All right, let's go ahead and put it at two notches. And boom. Now I'm using a casting rod this time. Now we're going to let it go all the way to the bottom. Just like that. And we're going to do what is called the lift and drop, like I've shown before. And we'll see if they keep doing what they've been doing for me. <laughs> yep. I'm telling you guys, I have never seen anything like this. Now, I'm not sure it's one of the big ones, but it's definitely it's definitely not a not a wimp, that's for sure. Oh, I'm sorry about that Acer recovery management thing. That thing comes up all the time. It's aggravating all right let's see come on fish he is going to fight me he is going to fight me come on you can do it <laughs> and well it's a young one still a northern pike now you're more likely to get the young ones using the smaller lure now that is something that I have run across. Doesn't mean that you'll always get them, but you're more likely. All right, let's see here. I th Good Lord, no joke. That's what I'm talking about, guys. This spot is hot. I mean, it barely even hit the water before I'm catching northern pike again. Okay, this one may be a little bigger than the last one. Yep, another young pike. Alright guys, I'm going to pause it here real quick because I'm going to get this thing off my screen. <laughs> I hate when it does that. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I got it off of there. Yeah, it. Uh, I should have go ahead, gone ahead and hit the old button to make it stop doing that. So, 
Anyway, just like I showed you before, guys, right there. Boom. Now, I wonder if he's even going to let it hit bottom this time. Yeah? Alright, lift and drop. Lift and drop. <laughs> I love it! This is an amazing, amazing spot, guys. I'm not kidding. Amazing spot. Yeah, I had tried several locations, and I've caught them all pretty much everywhere, but not like this. Okay, well, that's three of the young'uns. Let's see if we can't get us a bigger one. This is where you take the half inch, half inch, half ounce, replace it, and now we're going to go the same exact place. Remember to have the tension only at two, and then two for your drag. Right there. Boom. Oh, <laughs> I overthrew it. Not a big deal. Just reel it in. And we'll do what we did before. We'll put a little bit more tension. See? It released. Now we'll see if we can't get us a big guy. Pull. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Okay, we got us another snag. But it came loose again. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Alright. Now the line I'm using on this is a four pound braid it's pretty hard to break it so the likelihood of you getting out of a snag is pretty high well I didn't get one that time highly unusual okay we'll go ahead and right there let it fall to the bottom now start doing your lift and drop. It might be because it's a little bit heavier that we're getting this. Yeah, you won't catch the big guys as often, but you will catch them. See, you're not going to get snagged. I fished like this all evening and didn't get one snag that broke my line. Wow. Apparently it's going to make a liar out of me. All right. Well, one thing we can do is we can also go right over to here if it they're not hitting there try there it's just on the other side of that weed patch let it drop lift and drop and there he is Yeah, and this one's a big one. Much bigger than the other one was. Whoops. Yeah, this is a good fish. Good fish.
Yeah, if you stay around, it's pretty much around that weeded area. Don't go through it, because you will get a snag, most definitely. Now, what if what the line I've got, that's usually not a worry. But if you have something less like a .12, you can still catch him, but you're not gonna, you're gonna lose your tackle. I mean, it's guaranteed. This guy is going to fight me, guys. Check it out, man. He is running with it. I told you, man. They are right over there. Yep. And he's he's gonna fight me. He is fighting me. Come on, dude. Oh man. He is giving me a run for my money. God, this is fun, guys. You know, for somebody who is not able to get out and fish like I would love to, this really makes it so much better for me. Because I can fish any time I want now. <laughs> Alright, come on, dude. Come on. You know you want to. And there you go. There's your big dudes. 3.339 pounds plus 30, 23 and a half inches. Okay. And see, we'll get it right in the same place again. Right there is where we're having a look at this time. Let it go to the bottom, providing he'll let it go to the bottom, and then start bringing it in. Just reel it in. Isn't going to do anything. Getting a little lag there. Sometimes lag means you got a fish. Did I get him? No, that was a bite, but he didn't get on the hook. He was definitely interested in it, but too, I don't want to let it drop a little bit. Maybe he'll come back. Hmm, not this time. Oh well. We'll just cast it out there again and entice him one more time. See, tackle released after snag. Do not worry about the snags. These snags will not hold your line. Alright, we're going to try one more time and then I'm going to show you guys something that my good pal, the Lakaba Kashi, had shown me on his channel boom alright we got it way out there that time alright we're gonna see if we can get us another one there he is Yep, another big dude, I think. Yep, he's big. Come on. I don't think he was as big as the last one, but he's de he's still decent sized. All right, fishy, come on. Give up the ghost. Give it up. Give it up, old Hawkeye. He's almost here. And there you go. Another lunker. Big old dude. Not quite as big, but actually pretty close. 
And actually, no, wait a minute. He may actually be a little bigger. Huh. I guess the other one just fought more. Alright, guys. Now, this is the other thing I wanted to show you guys, too. I wanted you to see in the daylight just exactly how easy catching walleye is. Now, what you need guys is you need the medium spoon. Now, from what I understand, Delacaba told, told us that uh, the tiger spoon is probably the best one, but this will one will suffice. Well, believe me, it suffices just fine. But there is a major trick to doing this, guys. You've got to get right where that tree is. I don't know if you remember seeing it, but as he pointed out, you got to point your line right where that tree is. I don't know if you can see it, but that big tall tree, and it has like a clear area in the middle. I You aim right for the trunk. Now you have to get it out there good ways. It has to go out at least 200 feet, preferably 220 or above. But there's a trick to to make it do that because it will not cast out that far as he showed you if you look down here and you roll your middle button you see how it gets that open triangle looking thing on the right what that means is when you're reeling you're actually reeling out so you need to get it to like that then you need to do your cast And as soon as it hits the water, start reeling once you get a number like that. And what it's doing is, as it's falling, it's actually coming out and going out further into the lake. Because right at that location in this particular lake, there's a hole, a very deep area. And this is where the walleyes like to hang out. See? <laughs> I love it. I love this. This is so much fun, guys. See, I didn't even have a chance to reel the daggone thing in. Oh, man, I love this. Yeah, you're going to see some, you're going to see us a nice fish here this time, guys. No joke. No joke, my friends. love these fish and I love the way they hit there you go the walleye now he's not extremely huge I've gotten bigger ones but check out the I mean look at the muscle on this guy he's like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the fish clan so <laughs> yeah he's a nice fish we will definitely be keeping him and well <laughs> level up I'm up to nine now guys <sighs> love it I love this game let's see if we can't land us another one guys all right let's give her a try remember when the numbers come up start reeling out like you saw earlier keep an eye on that if you see that thing jump up you hit the right mouse button because you got a fish on there they do not waste any time I'm gonna take it about 225 if I can alright then we roll it up and we start reeling it back in I don't know if we'll get another one, but we'll soon find out, I guess. Now, from what I understand, once you get it to about 150, if you haven't gotten anything, just go ahead and reel it in. Because most likely you're not going to. I think I had a bite that time, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get one this time. But you don't get one every time. There are times when you get one right after another, but we're just going to go ahead and reel it set up. Right towards the tree. 
and boom. Numbers now let start reeling out. There's two hundred, two ten, two twenty, and two twenty five. There we go. <laughs> I love it guys it just doesn't get any better than this man just doesn't get any better than this and this guy's big this one's much bigger than the last one come on fishy oh can you believe that shoot <laughs> he got off the hook darn it I had him. I had him. Yeah, they're good about that. You, you got to watch that tension. I thought I had good tension on it, but obviously I didn't have quite enough. Well, you can't win them all. That ton, Hawkeye, zero, fish, one. <laughs> You know, we don't always win. That's what makes this a sport. Alright, let her out. Yeah, he was a nice one too. That's what that's the bad thing about it. But, now we're going to keep the tension on this thing going good this time. We are not going to let that fish get away. No, it isn't going to happen, guys. Come on, fish. Boy, these guys fight. There you go. He's a little bit a little bit smaller but decent. Plus twenty-three. Alright guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, I've been I've been doing really well with this. This uh little area over here and the walleye. I think what we'll do is I'm gonna try one more time, see if I can't get me another big one. I need to take my tension down. Let it go to the bottom. Then start reeling it in. I had a bite. <laughs> Did you see that? You, just, you saw it jump up real quick. Okay, I was just making sure that he wasn't still on it. Okay, they're being a little on the finicky side today. Hmm. That makes two times they've got a bite and nothing. Yeah, usually once you get this far in, they're pretty much done. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and reel it in. And just to see if I'm still getting those little guys, I'm going to try this one more time over here on this side. Right there. Boom.
we'll just put the tension up a little bit. There we go. There you go. Yeah, these guys, now like I said, this is going to be a smaller one. But they're there. Yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping the tension on this little guy. Huh, grass pickerel. That was unexpected. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he was awful easy. I don't know. Fish is a fish, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Anyway, remember, if you're fishing Emerald Lake, remember this area right over here. Now, see, as I told you, there's some lily pads or grass right there. Right over here, that's where the smaller pike are. Right back here, that's where the bigger ones are. And obviously, I've, at myself and as well as Delacaba, We've shown you this area over here for walleye. So guys, please share, comment, like, and subscribe. Please be sure to give me a view, and give me a like, give me a comment. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.